Hey everyone, this is the first in a series of tips and tricks videos for Windows 10. So to kick off this series, I'd like to start by sharing some secret tips on how to get back to your desktop. Anyway, if you're like me, you like this tile screen, which is officially called the start screen, but you're still using the desktop. I know I am. I guess it's force of habit. I still use the desktop to add icons and shortcuts. Now I used to use alt tab to jump to not only windows, but my desktop. Like for instance, if I hold the alt key down and tap the tab key, it does let me toggle to the different windows like it always did. And I still love alt tab, but it no longer has the option to flip back to your desktop. So when I first got Windows 10, that was the first thing I noticed. So I started experimenting and I know you can just minimize your windows and get back to your desktop that way. But my number one secret tip to get back to the desktop. So let me just kind of jump back somewhere from wherever you are. Hold the Windows key. That's this key here plus D for desktop and that will quickly take you back to your desktop. If you hit it again, Windows D for desktop, it will just toggle back and take you back to where you were. Now, if you like the new start screen, you probably know you can get there by hitting the Windows key and it will take you directly to the uh, start screen or the tile screen as I call it. If you hit it again, it will toggle back to where you were. Again, I like the desktop, so I definitely will be using the Windows D key combination to get back to the desktop. So I'm just curious uh, for everyone out there, do you still use the desktop? What do you use it for? Uh, do you like the start screen, this screen with the tiles? And if so, um, which one do you like better? And in general, do you like Windows 10? Now I'm going to have a lot more videos on Windows 10, including one where I will uh, show you how to customize this start screen. So um, I'll end at that note and I want to remind you to click the big red subscribe button if you haven't already so you won't miss any new videos and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.